No, I'm not extremely flatulent. If you hear loud sounds in the background, I'm just grabbing some coffee. And I don't know what kind of a uh, intro that is. Marvel vs. DC this week. We'll keep it simple this week, and we'll just go with Guardians of the Galaxy Annual versus uh, Green Lantern. Excuse me. <clears throat> Morrison. That would be Morrison versing a veritable cadre of writers because that's about what it's going to take right here. I mean, we got Al Ewing, we got Tini Howard, and we got Donnie Cates, and I think they're Lonnie Nadler and Thompson. And it's an anthology, that is to say, the Guardians of the Galaxy one. The uh, only person who really would be accurate would be Nova versus Green Lantern, but anywho. Uh, simplest answer I can give you is I personally really did like the, uh, Green Lantern this time. One of the best Green Lantern issues, personally, that I've gotten from Morrison so far. Liam Sharp, of course, providing amazing art. The artwork is obviously won, in my personal opinion, by Liam Sharp. Out of these books, even the few different people, eh, he's still better. I like the uh, Giuseppe Comancoli cover, um, or Giuseppe, Giuseppe, whatever the heck his name is. <laughs> it's great stuff. On the uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. Sorry, I'm sitting here making some food, making some coffee, trying to sit down. Just got home. It was a busy day. Sorry about that, fellas and ladies. Basically, these ones were uh, not really very similar because one is an anthology, one is a full-on story. And uh, one is by a master showman of, of uh, storytelling, and the other is by a lot of novice, but still new, really talented. That is to say, some of them are really talented, some of them are okay. All over the spectrum, uh, rookies pretty much overall. Nobody really who's been in the game for more than five years that I know of, that is to say, writing on uh, Guardians of the Galaxy Anthology, or on Anthology Annual. Uh, anyway, it was fine. It was good. I'd give them both fine ratings. I would say, like I said, it was one of my favorite issues of... Uh, Green Lantern so far, so I'd give that a higher rating, and I'd have to say that one one out of the two. But if you've been reading and keeping up with Guardians of the Galaxy, this was, uh, it's not the finishing like I was kind of hoping it was going to be to the, to the storyline that was going on. I thought the annual, a long annual ending would be pretty cool. But anyway, it's very okay, and it's nice to see, uh, to touch base and get a little bit of filler with a lot of these characters, because a lot of us who are enjoying the characters would like a little bit more, uh, with the characters, since... We don't only need the main story, we, we like to touch in with characters, man. That's one of the things that's really missing from modern comics is when you're only doing uh, plot-driven, you know, movies, basically four-part, five-part, six-part storylines, well, you don't get a lot of time for character development and, and uh, simple character-driven stories. So seems like there's a lot of character-driven stories going on over there with Green Lantern, so that's why another point of why that one wins. Anyway, have a great day. Take care.